So I'm by Cartwright Hall uh, Art Gallery at the moment, which is in Lister Park in Bradford. And this is the setting for uh, another of the seminal scenes in the novel. And this is the scene um, where the main character, Layla, um, she's told by her mother-in-law uh, that they need to go out together and she thinks they're going to go shopping or something like that. But instead, the mother-in-law very unexpectedly takes her to the art gallery. And what happens is they have a conversation inside the art gallery and it's a kind of big reveal about the mother-in-law's life. Now, the mother-in-law's a very important character in the novel. She's essentially the villain of the piece. Uh, she's a pretty obnoxious person. She's mildly racist towards Aisha, who's Pakistani. Um, she bullies people around her, everybody, but particularly Layla. And um, she's altogether quite a judgmental and dislikable character. And I guess we all need villains, right? But the thing is, I'm one of those people, I struggle to see people as black and white. And I believe that for every evil there is a reason for it. And what this scene is about is trying to understand why mother-in-law is as she is. She's never named, she's never given a name. She's, well, her and father-in-law, they're the two that just never ever named. They just are their, their title, their position. Um, <clears throat> but it's to try and make her a human being. Um, and of course, what happens is she is, was very much in the same situation as Layla. She was married off not really with any say in the matter when she was young. They came from Lebanon to uh, to Britain uh, and she didn't like it. And of course in Lebanon they were quite important people. In Britain they were nothing uh, compared to the white community. They were looked down on and they would land it in with the Pakistanis who she looks down on because she thinks she's superior being Arab. Mother-in-law it turns out was an artist when she was younger. She loved painting, she loved drawing. But the big moment in her life was when she realised that actually she couldn't be an artist, she couldn't be what she wanted to be. Her job was to bring up children and to be a wife. And so she symbolically threw her, her paintings, her, her etchings and her art materials away so she could concentrate on what was her duty, what was her role in life, not a role she ever chose. And she's basically telling Layla that Layla has to be the same. Because she, she knows that Layla's a night owl, she knows that Layla's not happy. But she's like, basically, put up and shut up. This is your role. Get on with it. You've got to, you've got to accept it, because otherwise you'll never be happy. Otherwise you'll always be in that halfway house. And in many ways, that's the theme of the novel, that, that Layla isn't happy because she's outwardly living one life, inwardly living another life and the, the out life that she's been given the life that she's outwardly living doesn't suit her at all it's very clear to everyone um, but she hasn't got courage or hasn't got the strength to to make that leap to the life that she should be leading um, what I wanted to show with this scene and with some of the others is essentially the key theme to the whole novel, which is the abuse cycle. Mother-in-law was abused, not physically, but mentally. She was, her personality was squashed. It was, nobody actually cared who she was, what her wants and needs were. She was there to fulfill a purpose for other people. And she basically killed herself to fulfill that role, which is why she's never named because she isn't herself anymore, she's mother-in-law. But in killing herself, what she did is she emptied her soul, she killed her soul, which is why she's such a dried up, and I think essentially unhappy person throughout the whole novel. And so the message to Layla is, you, you've got to go one way or the other. You can't go halfway house, which is what she's trying to do. But if you go in mother-in-law's route, Yes, you will have a role, you'll have a purpose in life, but you will be spiritually dead. Is that something you want to do? And of course, in the end she, she chooses to live, which is what I would recommend anyone to choose. Anyway, that's that. 
Thanks for listening.